Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a very pretty land that you can get at the Nationals. It is Flooded Strand, it is in foil and a promo. So if you play at Nationals, everyone gets one and you also get one if you play at side events. Now it's a very good card, I do like it, but today's video, I'm actually I know many of you will be offended by this video because you heard me talk about Folly a lot, but I had to make this video because I own lots of copies of the promo version. When I went to GP Houston, which was like two years ago, the last GP Houston, not the current one, I purchased a lot of these. I had cash and I went out and bought, 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 bought because I like the artwork and I love the card. This card is pretty much if you if you had a YouTuber connected to a card, I think it, my channel would be connected to the hip to this card. Now, will this card see a reprint? Possibly, yes, I'm expecting a reprint, but I'm going to enjoy this moment while it lasts. It won't last forever. Would the reprint actually have the same artwork? Yeah, probably despite me. Like, Wizard Coast likes doing that type of stuff. So I am talking about Falia, the promo. Now, the reason that people didn't really, wasn't really hyped on the card, or it's, they're saying the artwork is not as good as the original. I actually prefer this artwork. As you've seen from my lilies and my Falias I've commissioned, um, I like the up close in your face artwork. So I'm looking at lilies, Azolia, uh, Falias, I have two Falias, maybe more. Uh, two lilies and a eternal witness I have these lions that you, it's mainly their face so to me the artwork was very appealing I said I looked at it and I said ha huh, this is very appealing let me buy as many of these at a GP and a GP is the way to do it so there's many ways you can do a buyout I don't personally like doing a buyout on TCG player anymore lost packages shipping delays and all this stuff I mean, like I said in the past, like a lot of people in MTG Finance, they pretend they have done a buyout, but it is just very complicated because you have to continue to order. You have to realize how many you order from here. You have to make the minimal $25 from this place. It's not easy to accumulate a lot of copies of one card because unless you're buying it from a very big vendor, and if you buy from a big vendor like Card Kingdom or Channel Fireball or Star City Games, expect to pay way more than TCG Player. They know it. They know what you're doing. Trust me, they know what you're doing. It got to the point that Strike Zone Limited, I think everyone's buying, but especially mine, to four copies or eight copies of a card because they knew what I was doing all the time because they're local. I love it. This is everything I can ever imagine for the card. I'm not going to sell my copies. I'm just going to hold and eventually they'll plummet down in price. Filer is the real deal. From the very beginning of my old channel, New Law Student, to this channel, it's Filer, Filer, Filer. It is Princess Filer's one, 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 one. And she's fine. I mean, if every, anyone who's watched this channel knows that this is my favorite speculation for ever since she has rotated out. There's so many reasons I like her, but if I were to be completely honest, it's one of those cards that like you played with and you knew was good, but no one else played it because they were playing Delver, they were playing... Okay, what was the other one? Affinity. So I think Affinity went into Delver and those were the two builds. I don't remember what the set before, and I think it was Scars of Meriden. Yeah, it was Scars of Meriden because you had the Sea Chrome Coast into the Delver. So you had Delver and Geist, and you had Zombies, and you had other stuff, Red Deck wins always, but I always played Falia in every single deck. I just thought she was the best card. I never saw a card that unique. Um, now, it's, the card is not unique in the sense that uh, there's not other cards with her abilities. The card with her ability actually was printed, I believe, in Tempest. Um, so there is a rare that does exactly what she does for the same mana cost but not a creature. And I knew that made a big difference because she could go aggro. So the perfect storm was, I love this picture. I was at GP Houston. I had a bunch of cash. If you were at GP Houston with me, you probably knew at that time I had accumulated a lot of cash because I was selling lots of cards. 
as two years ago, our, our last GP Houston, and I wanted to put the cash into a card. And this card had recently came out. I forget how recent it was, but it was pretty recent. It was not, uh, there was a large supply of this out in GP Houston at the time. Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. I loved her. Let me figure out when did this come? File air promo. File air promo. Because it is quite interesting uh, to see Star City Games. No one else, no one has this in stock anymore. All the file ears are out of stock. This one used to be 70. Oh, okay. You can get a Korean file air foil for 120. Uh, okay, Filear is 20 bucks near mint and out of stock. The human deck. It took a five color human deck to make her the real deal. And I am, I'm very happy for her. I feel like this is exactly what she needed and exactly what she deserves. She deserves to be the best card in the best deck. A $20 rare. <laughs> you don't see those anymore. Uh, now, will she be reprinted? Yeah. I'm almost certain. They're not going to let me have this, are they? After my poor behavior and my calling them out on judges and stuff, they're not going to have, I mean, they're not going to let me have this card. I'm almost certain they're going to reprint her into oblivion and a master set or something like that. And I'm going to lose all my value. I'm going to lose all the value that I, so November 15th, when was... So I'm trying to figure out why there were so many copies of her at GP Houston. Uh, GP Houston 2016, okay. So she released around winter winter 2015. GP Houston was, when was GP Houston? No date. Houston 2016. So, but how early was 2000? Was it early 2016? Is that why there were so many copies of her? Um, oh, February 29th, 2016. So yeah, that is, it was the perfect storm. A card I loved with the, a, I consider a premium artwork. Many people didn't like the artwork. I was selling a lot of cards in GP Houston and there was a lot of supply because GP Houston came out on, it looks like the card was released November 2015 GP Houston was February 29th 2016 which is I think a, is that a leap year were we on a leap year or where's the coast well I guess we get extra day that year okay February tw uh, 28th was the top eight deck list uh 29th yeah that makes sense so it was literally the perfect storm of buying opportunities and I couldn't ask for a better buy-in than a actual GP where people had so many copies of this card. It was just pretty ridiculous. Which will get me into the last card, which is the Flooded Strand. Um, if you're fortunate enough to go to Nationals, I know this Flooded Strand is going to be valuable one day. If it's not originally valuable. It has all the markings of a Philia. Like all of them. Now, will the other promos come along so then it makes sense? Maybe, but blue-white foil promo land. Hmm. I just know. I just know. I can't even, ex I mean, it's so obvious to me. It might be obvious to you guys and may not be obvious to everybody, but I look at the flooded strand, I say to myself, if finally I can get up to the amount she got up to, which you can argue is 340 or 120. You can argue what it is. I don't really care, but it has quadrupled, more than quadrupled in price. Then any card can do it. If it's good enough. Flood Strand is by far good enough. So I can imagine there's still, MTG Finance is so different nowadays. It's not the same. You have to actually just you have to take higher risk. So the card, the price you're buying these cards, the one thing I didn't like, the only thing I didn't like about that Falia was her price point was much higher. Much, much higher than a original Falia. And I didn't know if I could 
collect her. So the only time I ever purchased her, I believe, was at GP Houston. I made a purchase a few copies here and there to get to 25 bucks or more to get my free shipping, but not in the quantities I did at that place. She was it. I mean, she was my favorite card of all time. I'm not going to sell her. I'm going to keep her. And I know she'll be reprinted. I know the price will go down. But I just wanted to have this single moment in time where everything lined up and I was able to buy her at such a good price. Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.